Hey, Virgo Summon Rising of Venus. This is what we got going on for September 6, 2021. Uh, happy new moon in Virgos. So finally, Virgos. Yay. All right, sweeties. Uh, let's get it. Coming with the Five of Pentacles, the Death card, and the full energy there. Uh, you guys could be dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Gemini. And then we got... A lot of court cards here as well here, Virgos, all right? Uh, let's get it to these five of pentacles, five of wands, six of cups to the five, ten of pentacles. So, Virgos, there's going to be a big, huge transformation coming towards you guys, all right? With the five to the five there. Uh, looks like somebody from your past wants to come back towards you. They are struggling with themselves because they know that the relationship that they want to have with you could be the ten of pentacles. So, this is what they're feeling nostalgic over. They're, they're nostalgic over the fact that they missed out on a huge opportunity with you, knowing that this... Could have been a really great connection with the Ten of Pentacles there. Uh, and and they're, it looks like they're really upset with themselves. Uh, regardless, though, this person is doing nothing except uh, uh, spying on you, watching you. They want to come in for communication. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is doing a lot of spying, um, acting a little bit evil in, in a way with the Page of Wands in reverse. But they're definitely more so immature here. So even if they were trying to come back towards you to communicate with you, they are absolutely uh, immature here as well. Very childish. Uh, magician, queen, and the three of pentacles in reverse, all right? So, Virgos, this person is going to be trying to find a way to manifest you to come back in. But with the three of pentacles in reverse, I don't know if they have the energy to put up with you or you don't have the energy to put up with them anymore because the energy is obviously go is it was done. It's completely done for here, Virgos. And now this person's emotionally unstable. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're definitely irresponsible. Irrespon what? <laughs> irresponsible? I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So funny. Uh okay, they're irresponsible. <laughs> I don't know why that word sounds so weird all of a sudden. Oh my god, Virgos. Uh they're careless, irresponsible. Now they're upset with themselves because the relationship between the two of you guys came to an end. But regardless, it looks like there's gonna be a transformation. So even though the relationship came to an end, uh they would do want to come back towards you. This person might ask you out for dinner, uh, but I mean, they have a lot of hidden feelings towards you with the moon card and energy there as well. So they are going to be reaching back out to you, Virgos. They do want their family back with the Ten of Cups or their relationship back here as well. So they're still clinging on to you for, for dear life. Like they're not choosing to release you or let you go as well. Uh, but the tower is going to be here. Like this person is feeling so burdened at the moment here, Virgos, because they were so dishonest. And you guys know about it here. And especially with the devil card with the Capricorn energy as well. So because they were toxic and dishonest, they have nothing good coming in for them with the Tower card and the Ten of Wands. So they're going to have a second opportunity here to get things right with you. But if they don't get things right with you for the second time around, uh, it doesn't look good for them, Virgos. Shit's going to be going down for them and they're not going to be happy about it either, all right? They're, they're just generally not going to be happy about it. So the wheel's going to continue to turn. Uh, but a lot of you guys have been isolating yourselves and working on your spirituality because it's bringing you the most happiness coming with the sun card. So the fact that you guys are working on your spirituality, Virgos, taking care of yourselves, uh, isolating yourselves here too. Uh, good karma is going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos, because you guys have probably been uh, manifesting it here as well with the emperor, the two of cups, to the seven of pentacles in reverse. Oh, sweeties. So... With the Emperor in reverse, to so the Two of Cups, this person's childish, overprotective, not able to give you what it is that you want. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, that I don't see them being able to invest in you anymore here as well because they are acting out of their asshole pretty much straight up. They're acting out of their ego. So if they feel like they can come in at any time and then leave at any time, it's always going to be the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Not ever going to be able to invest in you not going to be able to give you a long-term relationship. So they might be uh, nostalgic over the fact that they could have had the Ten of Pentacles there. But then in the long run, are they going to be able to keep up with their energy? Are they going to be able to keep up with that energy? How long are they going to be able to be fake for before they end up turning into the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Not willing to invest, not willing to succeed, not willing to do, you know what I'm saying? So Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the Hangman here, to the Six of Wands. So Virgos, 
Oh my God, this, my nose, I can't stop itching at Virgos. They're coming back. I can't explain to you how much they're coming back. They might be even reaching back out to you guys today, to be honest with you, the next two days, if anything here, but I expect, I do expect a message coming from this person. So this person's getting the enlightenment with the hangman to the six of wands to come back towards you with the chariot card, cancer energy. They want to put the work into the relationship, but you guys are going to be standing in your power coming with the queen of swords energy. You guys are going to be setting yourselves boundaries. Like, yo, if you're going to come towards me on some stupid shit, I don't really want it. Queen of Swords, all right? Uh, but they do have an offer for you coming with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, there. so you guys are going to be setting yourselves boundaries, Virgos, because of the fact that these, this person here hurt you really, really badly. But I want you guys to know that you guys have a lot of good stuff coming towards you, a lot of prosperity, abundance. Wealth is coming towards you, Virgos, as well. Especially when it comes to your workplace, you guys have wealth coming towards you guys. So good for you guys, Virgos. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who was trying to thief on you, Virgos. So you guys are standing your ground with the Nine of Wands energy there. You guys are very much so protecting yourselves, taking care of yourselves. You guys might be in fighter mode here as well. So if anyone who's going to, like this person thinks that they're going to get away with it, but they little do they know, Virgos, you guys are up right here. Like you, and you're not tired. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you, you want to, you want to take from me. You want to steal from me. You want me to, I'm not going to sit here and watch my back. I'm going to, I'm going to, you're going to look at me dead in my eyes and you're going to, and, I, and you're going to do this shit in front of my face, whether you like it or not. And once I see you do it in front of my face, watch me fight for it. Nine of wands. You're not holding back anymore, Virgos. You guys are standing in your power. You know what I'm saying? Like if anybody wants to try you, it's like, okay, well, you know what? Come try me. Run up on me. That's that's literally what you guys are trying to say. This person thinks that they're going to get away with it. No, no, they're not, Virgos. No, they're not. Uh, you guys have uh, riches coming towards you. For ones, you guys are going to be very much so happy here as well. Make sure you guys stop dwelling on the past here, Virgos. It's done and over with. Keep it moving. Star card. Take care of yourselves here. And you guys are hoping that everything's going to be okay. Some of you guys might be actually wishing that these people end up, whoever hurt you, ends up getting their karma. Um, regardless, though, there's going to be an Aquarius who's going to most likely give you guys a message here. <sighs> Seven of Cups, you guys are going to have to make a decision whether or not you guys are going to want to reach out to this person. Because it looks like an Aquarius is going to be reaching out to you guys. But this person did nothing but hurt you really badly. And uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius there as well. Who still has a lot of attraction towards you. So some of you guys might be getting some, you know, some of them. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Those messages. <laughs> I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, like passionate messages, I guess you can say. Yeah, some messages where it goes like, I want your body. <laughs> you are you are a sexy AF. You know what I'm saying? That this is how this person is going to be talking to you with the eight of wands to the lover's card, Gemini energy. Uh, judgment card here that is making the decision to come back towards you and offer you here maybe a gift for that matter maybe they want to invite you take you out maybe even try and negotiate how to yeah maybe this person wants to negotiate to take you out here Virgos maybe for some drinks dinner whatever the case is and if you guys are going to say yes they're going to come rushing for you guys so this person will end up driving towards you uh, Hierophant energy Taurus Taurus Virgo Capricorn maybe this person's at a distance from you here as well but I do see that they're coming back for you some of you guys are traveling at the moment there as well Virgos coming with the six of swords to the world card as well a lot of you guys are getting ready to travel make sure Virgos that you guys have all your documents okay and and you, when you guys are traveling here um yeah so there is going to be an offer coming in for you guys, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is going to want to negotiate with you. A lot of you guys are going to be celebrating, maybe going out for dinner for your birthday, having drinks, whatever the case is. Uh, communications coming in, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, <laughs> uh, Five of Swords energy there, Virgos as well. Uh, make sure that this person is not going to be selfish with you. That Make sure that all of this is all going to be genuine because this could be all genuine. And then by the time you guys decide to actually pack your bags and then go back home after you travel, it could turn into the Five of Swords energy. Like, was this person only doing this for themselves? You see what I mean? Uh, be careful. And then you guys are coming as the hermit. Like, you guys are very wise, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there is going to be an, a Virgo who is watching you become successful here, Virgos. Some of you guys might be in the limelight. However you guys choose to do your work, however it is that you guys choose to be successful, uh, this person is shining the light on you guys and seeing you guys as someone who's very beautiful, very handsome, very loving, very nurturing, very cute, independent, self-sufficient. And they're coming to the realization, Virgos, that, you know what? You're all that. 
you're all that. You're all that, Virgos. All right, and then now they're coming in and stressing about you. Nine, nine, nine. You guys are reaching your completion here. There is a certain level in life that you guys are at at the moment here, Virgos, where you guys continue to be tested and tested and tested. And it looks like with the Ace of Swords to the 999 that you're going to get there. And then when you get there, victory is all going to be yours. Congratulations, Virgos. These life lessons that come into our path all the time that makes us get tested each time here. You guys have learned from the mistakes, learned from the failures, accepted it for what it is. But you guys never ended up stressing yourselves out, okay? So with the 999 energy, you have technically no reason to be stressed out. You guys should be very, very happy. You guys should be feeling the victory for yourselves with the Ace of Swords energy. You guys are almost at your completion. Don't allow anybody from your past to bring you down and to take you off your path. Don't allow anybody from your past to, to try and come back into your life after you guys have the, done the best you guys can to be where the hell you guys are at now. You guys are literally at 999. That's that's big, Virgos. You're at your completion. That's a big-ass number. Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. Google that. <laughs> All right? Uh, Six of Pentacles. Uh, the universe is going to be gifting it to you. They're going to be gifting it to you, Virgo. Six of Pentacles. Good for you guys. Uh, also, Virgos, there's going to be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's going to come towards you, apologize to you, maybe even give you gifts as well. Leo energy there who might be absolutely heartbroken over you at the moment. Uh, King of Pentacles. This person might be at a distance sitting there watching you. Now they're stressed out. So they're heartbroken and stressed out. Trying to find a way to come towards you, but done. No, Virgos. Y'all be staying silent with the High Priestess because y'all be knowing way too much. You guys know way too much, Virgos. You're not taking anybody back who hurt you, who, bro who broke your heart, who put you in stress, who uh, whatever they did to you mentally, you're not having it anymore. You're done and over with it. You've learned too much. You learned your lessons. You know what it is. You know what it is that you want, and you know what it is that you don't want anymore. So if anyone's going to come on towards you on some stupid shit, uh, no, Virgos, you're not going to want it. You're staying silent about it. You know too much now, and uh, you're going to continue to most likely keep your pentacle to yourself, not minding anybody. Uh, focusing on yourself, focusing on your money, because you're very loving, very nurturing. It's very difficult in a world like this here, Virgos. <sighs> a lot of people don't know how to love nowadays. You, you feel me? A lot of people really just genuinely don't know how to love nowadays. And when you come into this world where you guys have an abundant amount of love that people just take, 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 and are greedy and selfish, and they don't want to give their love to you, but you have a lot of love to give to them, eventually you're not going to want to mess with anybody anymore. And you're going to say, you know what? No one's really technically going to be able to love you the way you're going to be able to love. And in this case, as the high priestess that you guys are, uh, you guys are going to say, you know what? Thank you, but no thank you. Uh, the love that I'm looking for is not the love that you're willing to give me. So until I find the love that I'm willing to have, the love that I choose to have, the love that I've earned to have, I'm not willing to settle down for you or anybody. I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on my future, your goals, however it is that you, whatever it is that you choose to do uh, with your with your time. That's what it is that you guys are going to end up doing. But regardless, though, Virgos, this person wants to come back for you. Um, and it seems like they are heartbroken by the way that they dealt with you. Because obviously there's, there's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, a Leo, who also stopped talking to you for a while here virgos um and they're getting they're using their intuition now to come back for you um however though uh being the high priestess that you are your intuition is working out virgos this person left you trapped they left you hurt they left you scarred really badly and you guys had to sit there and heal. A lot of you guys cried yourselves to sleep, Virgos, really stressing in your minds. Uh, why wasn't I good enough for this person? W what did I do for this person to just get up and leave me? Why didn't I get an explanation? You, you know what I mean? And it lasted about, uh, about a year and two months here, Virgos, for some of you guys. Some of you guys were crying day and night for maybe eight months here as well. A good three months until eventually you said, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to sit in my feelings anymore. If they're not able to appreciate me and the love that I was willing to give them, then what am I sitting here tormenting myself for? So you know what? 
Um, you got your energy back with the high priestess and you guys took care of yourselves, Virgos. Congratulations. Uh, 999 is big for you guys, Virgos. 555 is also big for you guys. Uh, look it up. Google that here as well. Do your thing, Virgos. Educate yourselves. All right. It's always important to educate yourselves. Even for me, nobody taught me shit, Virgos. Straight up. I had to teach myself everything. So what you guys are going to do is you guys are also going to teach yourselves. Google it. Read. Do your thing. Be smart. Educate yourselves. Figure it out, Virgos. Congratulations. You've reached your completion. Thanks, cuties. Bye.